It's early morning in Ludwigshafen. Not much action to see compared to normal times. COVID-19 has hit us. And although at the office things are quiet, back at home, our sales colleagues are very active in keeping in touch with our customers, looking for new opportunities. Hey Marco, wie geht's? How are you doing? Oh, things are difficult right now, but we try to be optimistic. That's why I'm calling you. We have an interesting opportunity and would like to know if you can supply material highly secret for testing. Well, I guess this material we don't have in our portfolio. But if you see an interesting business potential, I can always pitch this as a speed sampling to our team. That sounds interesting. Can you tell me a bit more about speed sampling? Most definitely. Let me first get the process started with our product manager and then I will take you through the process and explain what support we can offer. Ah, I don't get swing. Hi Udo, I'm just arriving at work. Please give me a few more minutes to settle in and I'll give you a call back, okay? Yeah? Thanks. Bye. Hi Udo. Hey Sven. I have a customer with an interesting new material request. Can we start the speed sampling process? Hey Udo, I'm sure we can get uh, something organized, no worries. What we first need is some basic information. I need to know the alloy type, the start of the production at customer side, I need a rough volume forecast, the target price, and get out um, the technical requirements, the oversizing factor, the density, the properties, and so on and so forth. When we have this, I will talk to the R&D team to see if they can make it and when the sample uh, will be ready. I would uh, guess within four weeks should be possible. When I know more, I let you know as soon as possible, okay? That sounds great. Thank you, Sven. Bye. Bye. Well, well done. Good. Good morning, everybody. Um, we are here today to talk about a new project um, Sven is initiating. It's about a speed sample for an interesting customer of us and um, I would like to start our process discussing the recipe, discussing which powder sauce we are going to use, where we are going to produce this stuff like this. Yeah, so let's start with the brainstorming session, what we need to do next. Okay, I think now we have a good recipe and powder source. Let's kick off the process. All the magic starts here in the feedstock production lab. Using our equipment here, we can produce from 3 kilograms to 30 kilograms within a few days. From here, the feedstocks go to our QC application lab for various tests depending on the project required. Testing our feedstocks to make sure they reach the performance requirements of our customers is of high importance. Unfortunately, we are always limited by the fact that we don't have the molds of our customers. So we have invested much resources over the years to develop generic application test methods for our feedstocks. In addition to our well-known quality control process, we are using a variety of different molds to further look into specific molding properties. Depending on the target application, this can include, for instance, extremely thin cross-sections or, as well, very large areas. Specific demixing behavior, shape retention properties, or the resilience against crack formation. But testing doesn't just stay here in the injection molding room. We also take time to investigate our materials on a deeper level. Investigating our feedstocks also includes looking at the microstructure, porosity, presence of inclusions or internal defects in parts. Our metallographic lab is equipped to do all these tests quickly to maximize our materials development speed. 
for metallographic analysis of sintered parts for proving homogeneity of porosity and microstructure are as necessary as chemical analysis and imaging on optical or scanning electron microscope. Also, hardness testing and case hardening can be done here. For more specialized methods such as computer tomographic imaging or mechanical testing according to certified test standards, we are working closely together with our experts from research and technical units here on the site in Ludwigshafen or in Shanghai. Welcome to our newest Cadamod lab. In our 3D lab, we're working on MIMP feedstock printing with various 3D printers for five years now. Although we cannot always provide our customers with the final parts, we have one possibility to support your project from the very beginning. Whenever you want to test a new material, like highly secret feedstock, or a new geometry, we can generate demonstration parts or even functional prototypes. So Sven, as requested, your speed sample. Thanks a lot, that looks awesome. Great, and you made it just in time. Very good. Of course. I like it. As usual. Here is an info package with a summary of, an, of the analysis we did on this sample um, and a specific list of material properties we would like our customer to observe and uh, comment on after their tests. And this will help us uh, if we need a material improvement. Yeah, that looks awesome. I see it. I mean, I'm happy to share this with Udo and the customers. Very good. So thank you to you and thank you to the entire R&D team. Of course. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye. Bye-bye. Hey Udo, listen. Um, Rudy just came into my office and uh, he has uh, finalized our nice sample from the highly secretive sweet stock. Isn't that great? Awesome. So tell your customers and I'm happy to hear feedback from him. Bye. Today, I hope I could show you how we, as BSF, would like to support you, our customers, to be innovative, to acquire new business, and to keep pushing the boundaries of metal injection molding. Speed sampling is only the first step in our development process. Once we have, with the help of your feedback and testing, identified a good recipe and metal alloy for the final application, we both still have a few critical steps ahead of us. From our speed sampling or lab phase, we at BSF need to scale up the production of our feedstocks. And that process goes from the R&D lab to the pilot plant to the production plant and luckily all sites are very close to each other. You, the MIM house, will also need to scale up your part production. Here we rely on you to give us guidance on the size and number of trials to be run in such a qualification process. The target is to reach a representative data collection for your production lines. Many things can still go wrong. Jumping in feedstock production from 10 kg per hour to 1 ton per hour or in part production from 100 parts to 100,000 parts can bring a lot of new challenges. It is very important that at this stage we are both aware of where we stand in our product development processes and that we use only feedstock for a customer project that has already been qualified on our Cutter production lines. This journey will be stony and every time we'll do it, we will probably learn something new. With open and honest communication, we believe together we shall be successful. Innovations and customer focus is mission critical for our Catamol business since over 30 years now. We continue to invest into R&D here at our headquarters in Ludwigshafen in the heart of Europe. We put you, our customers, into the center of everything we do and strive to fulfill your needs even better in the future. That is why your regular feedback is really key to success. Metal injection molding has already come a long way, but I'm convinced it's only at the beginning of its possibilities. So therefore, let's shape the future together. BASF. We create chemistry.